Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 5th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at uh, the S&P 500. And as you can see, we have had a really rough day in the market as a whole, especially the tech sector has been um, has basically fallen significantly down. Apple's down 4%, and most of the big tech stocks are basically down 3 to 4%. And of course, uh, that affects the Nasdaq significantly, and also, and also the S&P 500, as you can see here. Nasdaq was down nearly 3% uh, when it was basically most. And this is probably only the start of this. As you can see, we have breached the 20 exponential moving average, and we're heading towards the bottom of the bullish band down here at uh, 4089 we have settled right now just above the 20 exponential or the middle of the bullish band if you look at technical indicators they are very bearish indeed so this may take some time in order to recover you'll probably need a uh, you'll probably have a day where it drops even more then stabilize and then we most likely will continue higher if the if the 50 moving average doesn't break if that breaks then we could drop significantly lower but we are in uptrend and pullbacks uh, they are just part of the game uh, most of them have been been bought into when they are pulled back and um, we have been on a massive run since basically uh, the end of march we have been rallying all the way up towards uh, for 4200 which was significant barrier to get it past at this point so so um, it is to be seen um never i never short the indices is a, a really good way to to lose money so pullbacks is basically the best um, or buying the pullbacks is basically the best strategy here and considering that most of these kind of techniques are all pointing to lower levels and uh, that basically could mean that we could see um, this fall even further so it's just a waiting game so let's look at the dow jones so the dow jones fell all the way down to the 20 exponential and then rallied so amazing rally at the end of the session if you look at technical indicators they are fairly mixed macd is bearish the stochastic is crossing the signal line and becoming bearish the cci is still in bullish territory and the rsi is flat so so this is far more resilient than the and then the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq, for example, that we'll look at just in a moment. Minute. So 20 exponential is holding, and it has and it has also been holding in the past. So we see it here. You tested the 20 and basically bounced off that. So as long as the 20 is holding, it is. It doesn't look very likely that will drop towards the bottom of the bullish band or the 50 moving average. So this is probably just going to be a grind for a really long time up towards the 35,000. So let's look at the Nasdaq. It's probably where all the action was today. And as you can see, it completely fell apart. So we were down nearly 3% and have pulled back quite a bit, just above the 50 moving average. And uh, yeah, to be around, it probably won't be the last of this, but it's not surprising that we've found major support at the, right this area, because this was also where we had quite a lot of difficulties to get through in the past. See how often we basically tested this area before we broke through. And now we basically went all the way down and then bounced. So if we manage to stabilize here, then we can recover. If we break below the 50 moving average, then we could drop all the way down towards the 200 moving average, which also was the bottom here. Uh, we are significantly outside of the bullish band, so we are the overstretch so a pullback at this point could be expected however technical indicators are looking at dreadful for the nasdaq and if you look at the weekly chart as well for the nasdaq we have some way to go in order to reach the middle of the bullish band so last time we fell this hard we basically breached the 20 exponential before we rallied in the weekly chart we went all the way down to 12,200 but uh, we are really far off. So pullbacks towards the 20, those have all been bought into. If you look at what happened uh, last May, which was a really, really good month for, uh, the, for the NASDAQ and the, the stock market as a whole was basically here. We did fall and then we had this massive rally all the way to the beginning of September, 
until we basically fell apart here and they fell roughly uh, 12 to 14 percent before recovering again so may last year if this is going to be very similar then we are looking at a really good bullish run all the way towards september but history is just um doesn't really always uh, repeat itself a hundred percent but looks very similar to what basically happened that next time so if this holds then we could go higher but uh, it could also break and we go significantly lower so let's look at the dax so the dax also very similar to the nasdaq fell roughly three percent has recovered a bit we're trading just above the 50 moving average significantly overstretched here and the technical indicators are looking dreadful there's a lot of room to the upside uh, no downside uh, before this becomes uh, oversold and the dax has pierced up 50 moving average several times in the past you can see it right here when it just completely fell apart also down towards the 200 moving average the distance between the 50 and the 200 moving average at this point is quite substantial so dax has been on a massive rally so this was always going to happen uh, it was just a matter of time i thought it was going to happen right there when we pull back but still went flat rallied and then pulled back a little bit flat and then now we are falling apart if we manage to stabilize here then we could rally otherwise if we break below the 50 then we could head towards the 14,500 and probably 14,000 which is the previous lows over here technical indicators are all looking dreadful and are very bearish so let's look at uk 100 so UK 100 did rally up towards the top of the bullish band and then bang all the way down to the 20 exponential moving average down here at 6914 and found support there so this is not as uh, bearish as the uh, most of the other indices uh, MACD is still bearish stochastic is flat CCI is becoming bearish still in bullish territory and the RSI is fairly flat at this point 20 exponential breaks we can head towards the bottom here at the uh, you know, 6800 and 44 or the 50 moving average down at 6785 to the upside we'll most likely find major resistance still at 77000 so let's look at the china 50. so china 15 continues to fall we are it looks like we are heading back towards the 200 moving average down here at 16810 yeah that's probably uh, where this is going it ran to major resistance here at the 50 moving average if the 20 exponential basically crosses the 200 and the 50 crosses the 200 then we could see this drop significantly lower technical indicators are very bearish indeed macd is in bearish territory and about to cross the signal line stochastic is uh, bearish the cci is bearish and so is the rsi so not looking very good for the china uh, 50 and it then 20, 200 moving average has been major support in the past so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our new suggestion you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much